Hi everyone, my name is Diane and I'm bringing you this video today on behalf of the Department of Catechesis Sira Malaba Apaki of Melbourne. As I'm sure you would all agree, this year has gone by so quickly and it is crazy to think we are now approaching the Christmas season. We are not only approaching Christmas, but we are also approaching the season of Advent. Some people know Advent as a season leading up to Christmas in the anticipation of Christ's birth, but that is only part of the story. The word Advent is derived from the Latin term Adventus, which means coming, translating from the Greek word parousia. In the New Testament, this is the term used for the second coming of Christ. Thus, the season of Advent in the Christian calendar anticipates the coming of Christ from three different perspectives. The first of these perspectives is that of the physical nativity that happened in Bethlehem. The second perspective of Advent is that of the reception of Christ in the heart of the believer. And lastly, the third perspective is that of the eschatological second coming of Christ. I would now like to share with you a short message that Bishop Bosco has left with us in his pastoral letter. Bishop Bosco had said, The goal of human life is to know God, love Him, and share that love with others, in order to be able to experience the love of the Father, revealed to us in the Holy Nativity of Jesus Christ, and continually given to us through the Holy Spirit. We have to be ready to acknowledge our sinfulness, humbly confess it, and beg for God's forgiveness. Let us strive for this during this Advent season. Similar to how us Christians do during Lent, I invite all of you this Advent season to try and give up something, whether that be food such as meat or sweets or chocolate, or a habit or practice that you do, such as gossiping or your disobedience to your parents or being on your phone too much. So let us give up these things as an act of penance, asking God for forgiveness during this time so that we can prepare for the upcoming feast of our Lord's birth. Also, as is very common for us Sura Malabar Christians, I ask all of you to try and make a pulku to this Christmas time. And while we decorate our Christmas cribs, let us not forget to decorate our hearts as well, with prayers such as the rosary, or reading Bible verses and repeating them, or even simple acts of kindness and forgiveness, or sharing our Christmas joy with someone who may not be feeling well this time. Also, if you are able to, don't forget to buy a beautiful Christmas star and light it up at your front door so everyone walking into your house will know that you are preparing for the season of Christmas. If your family does end up making a pulkura and a Christmas star, please make sure you share it to Facebook or Instagram with a Christmas song in the background to share our Christmas joy with those all over the world. So everyone, while we are celebrating the coming of our Christ during this Advent season, it is also important for us to remember to fast, pray, and to maintain penance as well. This Christmas season, let us remember to celebrate Christ and not Santa. Thanks everyone. God bless.